Yeah. All right, everyone, it's 7 o'clock. We should want to welcome you out. It's Thursday, February the 9th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you very much. My name is George Pico. I'm Michelle and Tasha, Board of Trustees, Jennifer Leone, Don Keith as well. Rick Peterson's excused. He got stuck in uh, San Antonio, I believe, at some meetings down there. Uh, Jamie Lee is here, our road superintendent, and uh, zoning inspector Jeff Shipman, and also our fiscal officer, Todd Bosley. Um, we'll get right into it. I need uh, somebody who wants to handle those resolutions for the fire. Sure. And, uh, number one, approve the 2023 Emergency Fire EMS Dispatching Agreement with Tri-Division Ambulance District in the amount of $2,844 per month. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Approve the 2023 Emergency Fire EMS Dispatching Agreement with East Florida Fire Department in the amount of $630 per month. Second. I have a motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Hire Andrew Crano as a part-time probationary dispatcher at the hourly rate of $16.50 per hour, effective 2-11-23. Okay. I have a motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Tom. Yes. Hire Mary Hodge as part-time probationary. <laughs> probationary. Sorry about that. Dispatcher on the hourly rate of sixteen fifty per hour, effective two eleven twenty three. Second. Motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Hire Blake Myers as part time probationary dispatcher at the hourly rate of sixteen fifty per hour, effective two eleven twenty three. Second. Have a motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Hire Catherine Schroeder as part time probation probationary. <laughs> Dispatcher at the hourly rate of 1650 per hour, effective 21123. Second. Motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. All right, Rose. Jamie? Uh, I'd like the board to approve a resolution to approve the February 9th, 2023 road report. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. <laughs> yes. Don. Yes. Uh, fiscal Officer Todd. Okay, number eight, approve the minutes for the January 26, 2023 trustees meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. <coughs> George. Yes. Don. Yes. Number nine, approve payment to Ohio Billing uh, for January 2023 monthly fees in the amount of $2,430. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. That's all I have. All right. Thanks, Todd. We have concerns of the citizens. They're up. Sign up. Okay. Yeah, it was the ladies from the chamber. That's that. Is that yeah. it? That is who's here. Louisville Chamber of Commerce. If you'd like to speak here, uh, just state your name and who you're representing and where you live. Thank you for uh, having us this evening. My name is Beth Campbell. I'm the executive director for the Louisville Area Chamber of Commerce, and we're just we'd like to introduce ourselves. Um, Tina Horn here is uh, going to be our 2023 president. Um, we're doing a lot of exciting things with the chamber that is kind of familiar and kind of new this year. Uh, we put a lot of thought processes into what we can do to enhance our businesses in Louisville and in Michelin Township and the, the greater area um, and how we can bring uh, those businesses to our community that they know they're here. Um, we're doing, you're probably some of you familiar with the Chocolate Walk. We're doing the Chocolate, we're calling it this year the Chocolate Walk Drive. Uh, and it's encompassing all of New Michelin Township and Louisville. That will be in March. Um, we're planning on and working with the school to have a job fair in May. Um, we're also in June. We're not sure the date yet. It'll either be June 10th or June 17th. We're having a Shred It event at the Recycle Center across from uh, Carter Lumber as a, uh, a perk for the community. Uh, nobody's been doing it, and that's right after tax season. 
Um, we're not having our Patriot Fest this year. We're calling it Chamber Fest. We're doing that in June. That will be two days, Friday and a Saturday, June 23rd and 24th up at Metzger Park. We're also uh, doing, of course, Light Up Louisville, which is a very big deal. Scarecrow's on Parade. What am I missing? Seems to me I'm missing something very important. Chamber dinner. Chamber dinner. Ah, the, the chamber dinner. That is February 24th. We would love to have uh, you know, our politicians, our trustees, and everybody who can come, come to our annual meeting. The, uh, the Michelin Township trustees are member investors with the Chamber of Commerce. That is our annual meeting where we ask all of our members to come. We install officers. We have basket raffles, the whole nine yards. It's going to be held at Colts Community Center. You can sign up at lewisvilleohchamber.org. It's $35 per person. And of course, if you come, we will put you on our list as special guests. Okay, and, and, and tell them who you are. Um, we, the chamber had a long ways to go after COVID. With other organizations, it was difficult for everyone to do everything on Zoom. And so we've really come back with um, bombshells that we've, we've grown our membership, we've grown our events, and we're here not just to party plan, but to put on some nice events to bring the community and the business owners together. I think a lot of the community did, does not really realize how many services, retail, wholesale, construction, real estate, banking, crafts, farming, they really don't have a good feel for what this area holds in services. Uh, one of our bigger events that we're planning this year, we don't quite have the date yet, is a vendor fair. And we're going to have a very large venue. We're not sure exactly where that's going to be yet. And all of our chamber members will be invited to come and have a table with information about their business, what they do, maybe give out coupons or um, baskets you know, that, that people can sign up for so that the community can come to one place and see all these different businesses. Say, gee, I didn't know they were here. I didn't know they did this. And this is something we're gonna do free for our members um, to get them in front of the community. So we're, we're working hard on all of that. Um, the phone rings off the hook. I really can't tell the people who call asking for parking at the Kentucky Derby or how to get tickets for that. We get a lot of those calls. <laughs> um, meals on Wheels, we get calls for. We get calls for when is a trash pickup. Sometimes I think I'm the community switchboard operator. Uh, and I all, I'm always at my computer and I go, wait a minute, I'll look it up. Let me, you know, yeah. Google anything. So it's been a lot of fun and we're having a great time. Our board is very committed. We're always looking for new board members. Uh, we meet twice a month. Uh, that can be individuals or businesses, as long as they're members. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is the Chamber of Commerce is open for membership for individuals. You don't necessarily have to have a business. Um, and so, you know, give us a call. Our number to get a hold of somebody just don't ask about tickets for the Kentucky Derby, is 330-875-7371, and I will leave you some business cards. So thank you for giving us this time, and you know we're all in this together. It's one big community, and there is so much to see and do and buy and have in the Michelin Township. I'm not originally from here. Um, I'm not too far away. I wasn't born too far away but I, I really see the value that we have here and we can all have the same goals in common Great. so thank, thank you. you thanks Beth. thank you very much okay uh zoning jeff uh, i'd like the uh, trustees pass resolution uh, 10 except for february 9 2023 zoning report motion to approve second motion to second voting please jennifer 
Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Uh, accept the January 2023 monthly audit report. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. All right, number 12, uh, motion uh, to waive the 2023 $50 conditional zoning certificate fee permit number 701 for the Louisville City Schools for 3706 Victory Avenue, Louisville, Ohio, 44641 as a communications tower. Second. Motion and a second. Voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Uh, motion to uh, for certification of the highway mileage is 67.42 miles for 2022, is that right? Yes. Oh wait, 2023. So should that be 2023? No, it's, uh, oh. I'll pull it out here. But I looked at that too. They used that, but it says the township was responsible for maintaining 67.42 miles of public road. Uh, we, the other side, hereby certify that as of December 31st, 2022. Okay, that sound right, Jim? It does. Okay, perfect. So, uh, motion to for certification of the highway mile at 67.42 miles for 2022. Need a second, please? Second. Motion to second voting? Jennifer? Yes. George? Yes. Don? Yes. And then discussion to assign a committee to begin disposing of the township records. And uh, Todd Boz, the fiscal officer, actually uh, been in charge of that. He brought it up a couple different times we've talked yeah. about it. And, um, the records are actually stored in, you know, up above the building in the garage and they're just kind of getting old, rusty and dusty and just kind of falling apart. So um, there's a procedure and a process for doing that. You want to speak to that, Todd? Yeah. Read it? Well, um, yeah, there, there is. It's, it's quite lengthy, but the, just getting the process started would be the, the best thing. A lot of the records that are at the road department, some are necessary and some are not. Um, we just need to get what we don't need anymore out of there. They've been there. I'm going to say they, they've been in that garage for well, probably since I was a trustee the first time, which would go back to 04, 05. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's there's some older stuff. So there's things we can get rid of. But I know you and I had talked about maybe having someone from the Louisville Historical Society involved. Yeah, I talked to Ron Deary with the yeah. Nimishillen Township, or Nimishillen. Louisville Nimishillen Historical Society. He agreed to sit on that council. So it would be the chairman of the board, which would be myself, and then the fiscal officers, Todd, uh, and then Ron Deary uh, was at, I asked him tonight, and he said he would, and with the assistance of his group, um, to kind of go through the record, see what we should absolutely keep, what we yeah. want to keep for history. Um, and then there's a purging process with the state. You kind of go through a formula, this is what we want to get rid of, they have 60 days to approve that list, and then you can go ahead and dispose of them after that time. Correct. So it's kind of a lengthy process, but we want to get that process going. Any questions, Don? No. Okay. No, no, no. So if that's okay, I, um, I make a motion to uh, uh, set up a, uh, I had it written down here somewhere, um, to start a Township Records Commission with the appointment of myself as the Chairman of the Board, uh, Fiscal Officer Todd Bosley and Ron Deary from Louisville and New Michelle and Historical Society. Okay. Motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Todd. Mm -hmm. um, any anything else that needs to be brought up before the before the group before we adjourn? I think I might have anything else here. Uh, the burnt house. We talked about that a little bit. I did speak to him. Jim, I'll probably talk to you after the meeting about that, if that's okay. Okay. Where we should go from here. We kind of voted at the last meeting, then we need to go ahead and hand it off to, hand it off to you. So if we want to talk about that a little bit. Other than that, if there's nothing else, uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to second voting, please. Jennifer. Yes. George. Yes. Don. Yes. All right, everyone. Have a good evening. Good evening.